All right, just gonna do a video showing that repentance is in fact a free will choice, and that it flies right in the face of the Calvinistic false doctrine of denying any kind of free will in the life of the believer, and denying free will in the choice of believing or accepting or repenting. So I'm gonna get into the scriptures, because there's so many scriptures that prove free will in the life of not only the believer, but also in the context of faith and repentance. So let's get into those scriptures right now and show some examples. So here is Calvinism refuted by repentance as a free will choice. First of all, Jesus Christ abradeth the cities for not repenting, which presupposes they could have repented but chose not to. Matthew chapter 11 verse 20 says, Then began he to abrade the cities, wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. They clearly chose not to repent. Jesus Christ laments over Israel rejecting him, which presupposes they could have accepted him, but chose not to. Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. 23, verse 37. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Luke chapter 13, verse 34. O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, which killest the prophets, and stonest them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, as a hen doth gather her blood, uh, her brood under her wings, and ye would not. They had the option, but Jesus Christ, the, the fact that he's lamenting over them, ex rejecting him, shows that they had the choice to accept him, but they chose otherwise. There would be no reason for him to lament over it if they had no free will. Men are held accountable for their actions or failure to repent or have faith, which presupposes they can have the faith or the free will to choose to have one or the other. That's simple. Luke chapter 14, verse 17 to 18. Luke chapter 14, verse 17 to 18. And sent his servant at, the supper, at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. They're going against the will. Luke chapter 19, verse 14. Luke chapter 19, verse 14. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. But those mine enemies, which would not have, have which, not, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Now I understand it's a parable, but what it shows is that they chose, we're not going to have you to rule over him. Again, I know it's a parable, but we see the free will being played out right here. The ability to accept or reject. And here are just two other examples of repentance or faith being a free will choice. John chapter 5, verse 40. And this all flies in written face of the Calvinist false doctrine of denial of free will in the context of faith and repentance. John chapter 5, verse 40. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. You know, he's telling them that, you know, you're not going to come to me. If they had no free will, he would have just obviously willed them to come to him. But no, they chose not to. Luke chapter 7, verse 30. 7 verse 30 but the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves being not baptized of him this also flies right in the face of the irresistible grace false doctrine as well by Calvinism but we see clearly here they chose to reject it because again why faith and repentance is a free will choice that you're held accountable for your own actions if you hear the gospel hear the truth and reject it at that point it's on you you can't blame anybody else but yourself when you stand before God at the great white throne judgment so i wanted to point that out it flies right in the face of the calvinistic false doctrine of denial of free will in the context of repentance and faith don't be deceived by calvinism it is a false doctrine may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye